welcome back guys welcome back to the after effects tutorial in this tutorial i will show you guys how to create this cool shape shifting animation in adobe after effects all right so i have these graphics which is done in illustrator in here so i have five graphics so i wanted to shift from one shape to another so before we start with this uh this kind of shape shifting animation we need to first uh, already have an idea about how it's going to animate in the first place so in here you can see i have divided this each individual graphics into five pieces as you can see in here one two three four five so i also coded them in different color you don't have to do that in here but to understand easily i just apply some colors in here and you also need to consider which shape is going to transform into which shape as well for an example in here on this red part to transform into this hand and the hand to transform into this uh, sanitizer top part it, it doesn't matter you have the same color or not in after effects we can always change the color but if you want to keep all this color similar it's okay also all right so let's go into after effects and i'm going to create a new composition and i'm going to set for uhd size and 60 frames per second and okay now go to the timeline and create a new uh, shape layer go in here new and shape layer all right so after you create the shape layer go to the first frame in after effects and go back to adobe illustrator and select the shape first shape you want to copy from so the first shape will be this red uh, red red object in here so just select this one only the red shape and control c go to after effects and paste it in here while you select the layer shape layer and control v which will paste this object as a path inside the shape layer now if you go in here in the shape layer and open the mask you can see our new shape has been pasted inside this mask path now uh, select the shape layer and go to fx and search for fill fill if i have and select the fill effect and apply to that uh, shape layer in here which will apply the fill color but you won't see anything to do that you go in here and select the all mask which will enable the field for all mask inside this layer okay so now we leave this layer like this and we can copy the color from illustrator and select this one apply the fill color same as the illustrator color or you can give any color you want all right so the first shape is done and now now select the keyframe and create a new keyframe for this path in here. So for the mask path, we have created a new key keyframe for now. And when later, when we copy the new shape, it will move from this uh, shape to another shape. All right. Now create one more layer, one more shape layer, same as earlier, new, create a new shape layer. And for this one, copy and paste the second object on top of this layer which is this green color object control c and control v and again you have to apply the fill effect and here also you have to select the all uh, mask and you can copy the color from illustrator to here as well which is this green color so select the green color and uh, copy the green color and paste it inside the fill color so we are going to repeat the same uh, for all five object in this uh, artwork for the first artwork and again in here also you can see it will paste inside the mask there is a new path and you have to create a new keyframe for this path as well now again go back in here create a new uh, shape layer and for this paste one of these objects which is going to be this uh, blue color the circle again control c go into after effects and select that uh, shape layer and control v which will paste the shape inside in here again you can apply a fill before that select the path and bring it to the correct position and apply the fill in here again all mask and copy the color from illustrator and paste it here or you can leave it as it is if you like this color 
okay so i'm going to leave a leave like this and now i'm going to do the same step two more times so i'm going to make this part faster you guys already know what i'm doing Alright guys, all five object uh, has been copied for the first shape and now what I'm going to do is make sure you create keyframes in the first frame where the shape is appearing then only our animation will work properly. Alright, so you can see I have created keyframes for all of these objects in the first frame. Now go to the frame where you want to complete the second uh, shape shifting animation. For me, I'm going to select in here. Now go back to Illustrator and start copying the second shape. So before you start copying, you need to know which shape is going to animate to which shape. So as I told you guys earlier, this red shape is going to animate to this hand. So now you have to select the hand and go back to After Effects. Where is this red shape is? So select that layer and paste it on the layer. You have to select the path and copy if not it will create a new layer so you have to select inside that path now if you move back and forth you can see how a shape shifting is appearing nicely all right now select the layer on top and select the path where the keyframe is go back to the illustrator and copy the second layer which is this red color brown object or the green color i think green color should be nice so i go back in here and paste on top so it's going to be the same shape or more or less so you won't see much different so we go back to the third object in here which is the circle and it will change to a bigger circle so again copy the bigger circle and select the path you have to select the path and control v and later we can adjust the position now we can just leave it like this I think actually I can start moving because all of the shapes are going to be circles anyway. There is no shape, different shape in here. So I will start moving these objects. Select the path, which will select the entire path and just start moving. I will place the other circles also, just circles on top. You can place anywhere you want because these shapes are similar to the previous shape. So there is no shape shifting in here and the center button will come in little bit to the center in here all right if you move back and see now you can see the entire object is moving entire object shape is changing to the new shape okay now we go back to the third object uh, third shape shifter and here and for this one i'm going to copy from the third object okay so let's go back to illustrator and choose the first layer and first layer mask you have to go in here now the hand shape will change to this shape on top so i'm going to copy this ctrl c and here select the mask path and ctrl v okay cool don't worry about the color for now later we can adjust the color now go back in here select the second one this one ctrl c and for this i'm going to change the second shape so i'm going to paste ctrl v let's start arranging this shape in order so that you can easily see which shape is which before we copy the next object you have to select the path which will select all the path so you can start moving okay this look cool now we go back to illustrator and now i want to copy this bottle shape or the plus sign in here the medical sign just ctrl c select the red dot and select the path and paste ctrl v and we can move this one to here and uh, for the the white one i will change that to the drop which is the drop of drop from that uh, bottle which is this one ctrl c and go back to after effects select the path and ctrl v which is the first one in here yeah ctrl v okay and again i will just move this to the correct place which is in here and the one last thing for this shape is the bottle shape and select the path in here which is this one i think this one yeah and don't worry about the arrangement later we can change just copy ctrl c go back in here and ctrl b which will cover the uh, the medical sign later we can adjust that for now just leave it as it is all right let's move on to the 
next shape move the timeline to the new position where the next shape is going to appear and now go back to illustrator and for this i will start from the back again so i want this face shape to change from that sanitizer top so i'm just going to select in here uh, yeah this one and control no this one sorry yeah so select the correct one and paste it on top control v which will change the shape to this face shape and you can adjust the precision in here don't worry even though it's on top we can adjust it afterwards so select the head control c and go back in here the red shape is hit this one select the path and paste it on top control v and you can move it to the top like this and place it in the correct place all right two done three more to go go back to illustrator now copy this blue color shape the big shape control c and blue color shape should come from this uh, from this green shape so place on the green shape select the path control v later we can change the color two more objects to copy now go back again to illustrator and now we copy this white color part control c go back to illustrator go back to after effects and select the white the drop uh, the water drop one and control v which will paste on top all right so one last object to go select this red color plus sign and go to illustrator or you can just paste again which will paste the same shape as earlier because both shape are same just the size is different and you can make it smaller okay all right so now we have copy all the objects now if you move and see our animation is working fine now we need to arrange the layers properly before that i will have some more keyframe in between because now it's immediately just changing changes is just going on there is no stop so what i want to do is i want to stop for a while when the shape the first shape shift is happen i want it to stop for a while then again go to the third shape stop for a while and go to the fourth shape and stop for a while like that we can see the shape and then it will start animating so to do that very easy just move these keyframes here and just copy the first keyframes ctrl c and keep a gap maybe 10 frames and paste it in here so do the same for other places also so we have like 10 frame gaps each before it started to move to the next object next shape do the same for the second one is done do the same for the third object just bring it here keep a 10 frame gap and ctrl c ctrl v and paste here and the last one last one you can keep or ignore so i'll just place it again ctrl c ctrl v so we have gap for each uh, for each shape all right now let's start arranging the layers go back to the first frame first frame is correct and in the second frame second shape we have to move a bit uh, second shape we have to change the color only the third one we have to cha change the arrangement so let's start working on the arrangement first so what i will do is i will go end of the second frame i will divide this shape the red shape into two and from here bring it one frame up so that it will be on top of the the bottle so it, this shape will be visible in here again go back in here for the end of third shape divide again now bring one frame up again so it will be the topmost frame and one last thing in here we need to bring the mass on top uh, topmost layer okay so let's go into that layer and divide into two and bring it upwards all right so now if we move in here the mass layer will come on top the green mask layer all right okay so now our layers are in order and we change the hand color in here then we are good to go select the hand layer and go into the fill before that go in here when it should be red color in here it should be red color and make a keyframe and go in here when the hand shape is changing and change the color to the and shape color which is this one in here and again go back to the earlier shape which should be the second one and just 
go and change the color to red color. All right, we can change to a different red color as well. Okay. Now if we animate and see how our animation is working, fine. You can also apply strokes to these shapes. So through apply stroke, just go into the effect and search for stroke. And you can find, you will find the stroke effect in here and select the stroke and same as fill color, apply to this layer, which will apply a stroke uh, to the shape. Here also you need to select all mask and you can increase the stroke size and the start and end position. And in our original animation, what I did was I have animated the stroke uh, start and end like this in here. So that's what you see there is an additional animation going on in the uh, original animation. All right, guys, so that's all about it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next tutorial.